when to flip on a trade. In this six minute video, I'll be discussing exactly how you can practice flipping on a trade. First of all, what is a flip? A flip is when you are wrong and you need to go the exact opposite direction. The number one general aspect that happens on a trade when you need to flip is the stock will gap and you simply chose the wrong sentiment, which is fine by the way, it happens all the time. But keep in mind, if you're playing a gap and you think, oh wow, this trade's gonna do this and you get into that particular position, and then it does the exact opposite of that thing, you should probably begin to look to flip. Tesla is a great example of this. Tesla on Friday had a doji candle and this doji candle was the Friday, Thursday. And this was a very, very nice, very strong bearish gap on Tesla. Stock has been absolutely mangled over the last few months. You can see how big it is, how far it is. So one thing also to keep in mind, Number two, when you're flipping on a trade, you should probably look at the percentages of how much the stock has moved because likely you decided to choose the direction bearish or bullish, but the overall sentiment is already well past your perspective. So what that means is on Tesla, I mean, over the last month, it's down 50%. Over the last three months, it's down 70%. And over the last year, it's the largest market cap drop in history. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't be bearish. It just simply means that if you take a bearish trade, you got to learn to flip. You got to learn how to get out of that position and go into something different. Now, step number two, we just covered. Step number one, we covered. Here's step number three. Look for trapped traders. On Tesla here, you have the pre-market low. So here's the pre-market low right there. You have a beautiful, amazing, bullish, high wave indecision candle. My favorite candle of all time with massive, massive volume. Look at all of these buyers coming in. So all these buyers come in and then boom, you're closing below this candle. So you're obviously excited. You're totally jacked up. You're absolutely thrilled. And you're like, this is where I'm going to short. And if you short here on Tesla or somewhere in this general vicinity, right? So if you short here and your stop loss is there, you're like, man, I'm about to make so much money. The very next trade, boom. So step four is you're probably wrong immediately. You're probably wrong immediately, meaning you took the trade, you didn't have a green PL on your screen at any point in time. And this would have been a great example of that on Tesla. So you short and it goes against you immediately. So it's coming in and here is your resistance. Here's your upper shadows and you get stopped out. So once you get stopped out, now the question is, what do I do? Well, again, that's why we're talking about this video. You flip, you look to get out of your bear trade and you're going to be getting into a bull trade. You're going to get in here on a pullback because you have uh, five bull counts in a row. So you're looking for this type of movement and you're going to get in and you're going to place your stop loss. Now this takes practice, but there you go. You're in on the trade. And if you're not in on that bull candle, uh, you, hopefully maybe you're in on this bear candle. And if you're not on this bear candle, right, as we trade sideways, you'll notice that we're, we're here at the resistance. We got the prior low from the prior day. So again, let's pretend that you did not get filled on this pullback. You did not get in here at all. You're still looking to go long or you can go long above this resistance. So if you're really looking for more validation, more correct information and more confirmation, if you will, as the stock trades sideways, it's building pressure. Look how long it's trade sideways from 8.54 until nine to about an hour. So we're trading sideways for an hour at a resistance. There's some more compressor building another bear candle at that resistance. And then boom, here is your bullish entry. Now you're triggered in bullish. And obviously the question slash the fear is, well, Jeremy, what if I get triggered into the trade and it goes the exact opposite way again? Hey, sometimes you're gonna lose on two trades, but the point is what you need to do in your fifth and final answer of how to learn when to flip on a trade is go in and actually analyze what did you do incorrectly and try to determine and find out the actual trend setup and when it changed. Analyze it, understand it and practice it. Here's the key. I will practice this exact flip on Tesla over 75 times before you wake up in the morning. Let that sink in. I'm going to get up 
I'm gonna practice and I'm only going to do this trade 75 times. Knowing what the candles look like, knowing how the movement happened, knowing that I was wrong on the bear trade and then being able to get in bullish. If you practice this enough, you will be able to master it. Mastering anything comes from repetition. Let's imagine for a moment that you shorted as high as you possibly could and shorted right here. So you shorted here, your stop loss was up here and your target was down here somewhere. That also makes sense on the trade. Trade would have come in and you are doing your thing. So in this situation, you're not immediately wrong. You actually did show some profitable P&L at, at one point or another. And then you just in, in, ended up moving your stop to somewhere around here and getting stopped out for 0.3 or 0.4 hours. That's another time that I will flip. And that's your sixth and final point. If I do lose very small on a particular trade, so 0.5 hours or less, there's so much room for me to take another trade because my average loss is 0.7. So if your average loss is small enough and you lose even smaller than your average loss on a trade, like in this example would have been a short, there's no reason to not take the other trade because the risk reward makes sense. But long story short team, the real answer to this is practice. Go find a flip. And this is it right here on Tesla. I saw far too many people lose on only bearish trades and didn't take any bullish trades. I don't care if you took a, a bearish trade and lost on Tesla. That's irrelevant. That's going to happen a million times out of a million times. You take a trade and you lose on it. What I'm concerned about is, do you understand the sentiment behind why it went higher, aka based on the daily chart? Do you understand the sentiment that all these bears are trapped? Do you understand the sentiment that you were wrong immediately? Do you understand the sentiment that you had six humongous bullish candles in a row closing above resistance? This is showing you the new three minute trend. And are you able to articulate the fact that you lose big and you were wrong immediately or you lost small and you were able to reverse the direction? But either way, practice this fade because that's oftentimes the flips that people need to practice the most. As they get into a gap, it goes the opposite direction of their thought process and their sentiment. I hope this video helps. Thanks so much for watching. You are amazing. Click that subscribe button, post any comments that you have in the comment section below so I can help you become a more profitable and more consistent trader. Our mission is to enrich lives. My name is Jeremy Newsom. Thanks so much for watching this video.